Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the new Games Workshop tools that have been sent to me. Um, I'm going to be comparing them to the tools that I currently use and also to the previous or some of the previous iterations of the, the Games Workshop tools just to see if they've made any improvements uh, or maybe even regressed in some areas. Um, I've also been on the website to check the prices of these uh, because when Games Workshop sent them to me, uh, they don't actually give you the information for, for how much they're going to cost. Uh, so these are actually up for pre-order at the moment. And uh, so starting with the clippers, or, <laughs> or the, the correct term is the super fine detail cutters, those are £30. Um, then the drill is 20 the mold line remover is 15 and the uh, the knife is 19 but um, looking at the, the super fine detail cutters, at £30 that's quite an expensive um, you know that should be a, a high quality uh, tool for that price um, so it's not you know that much more expensive or you say it's not more expensive than uh, other tools from other brands that you can get but it that is like a, a high level um, you would expect a, a real, really good quality uh, item for that price um, so they saw uh, I was just comparing it to the previous iteration of the uh, the clippers from Games Workshop so Compared to those, these are infinitely better. Uh, you will notice straight away that there's a, a big size difference. So they're quite comfortable to hold actually because they um, they fit in your hand really nicely. They're, they're big and you can use your hands to, to grip them nicely. Uh, the, and you're just gonna see here as well, I'm gonna do some quick comparisons. I have used these off camera as well. So, because it can be a bit tricky to do like, um, really accurate cutting and just spending your time making sure you, you're actually focusing on what you're doing rather than focusing on the camera. Uh, so I, I have used these separately as well just to see the kind of results I can get. And the, the Games Workshop Clippers, uh, they just they just work so much better than the previous iteration. Now I'm, I'm really stressing that the previous iteration, not compared to the other ones that I'm gonna show you in a moment. Um, the previous iteration were just garbage. Uh, they don't cut, they tear. Uh, it leaves a horrible jagged edge. You can see here as it goes through, it just snapped it off. Um, and if you get that ne ne uh, uh, like an important uh, component, you can completely ruin it. So you can ruin your model by using those clippers. Whereas the New Games Workshop ones, they will cut uh, and you know, the mechanism, like the, the um, mechanism for opening and closing stuff is a lot better than the uh, the previous iteration so in terms of that they are a, a massive improvement and just to be super clear on that the games workshop the the old ones that i have here those are unused pretty much <laughs> they were sent to me up for free from a magazine subscription uh, i virtually never used them so the the blade should have been super clean and sharp and they were just awful. Whereas, so just to compare the uh, the new Games Workshop ones to something that's actually a bit more reasonable. Uh, so I have these Redgrass Games uh, clippers, and here the um, just the mechanism and the cutting power is superior to the Games Workshop version. Uh, so you can just use your fingertips um, when using the the Redgrass Games ones, and it will slice through it really, really easily. The blades are sharper than the Games Workshop ones. You will notice that the blades are shorter as well on the, the Red Cross Games ones, um, which for me is actually a bit of a pain because it you know you can't re you can't cut off some of the bigger sections, um, so they are really for for smaller cutting. These ones that you can see on the screen at the moment, these are my favourite ones. So these are Tamiya clippers. There are a few variations, so you can get some with shorter blades or longer blades. These have the the longer blade. They're actually not that dissimilar in length to the Games Workshop blades, but they are much uh, thinner. The uh, they're very similar in sharpness to the Redgrass Games ones, so you don't have to put a lot of pressure on the cut. It will cut um, very easily. Um, but just having the longer blade uh, means you can fit more you can push them you know through the sprue a bit further um and just you know makes it makes your life a little bit easier but i i like to use both the red grass and the tammy ones um you know because they do the job really nicely the uh in comparison to the games workshop ones so the handles on both the red grass and the uh, tammy ones are small uh, now if you've got big hands and you just want to be able to you know put a 
good bit of force behind it the games workshop ones are going to be better but really you know for cutting plastic you shouldn't need to put that much force in it uh, here you can see you know cutting again there was a slight inconsistency I found with these um, in that they didn't cut the very last part of the sprue that well like you would cut it and then it would sort of fold you'd have to pull the last little bit off um, but uh, and just to give you an indication of the difference in price so the uh, the Tammy ones my favorite ones those were cost me 35 pounds when I got those uh, so just five pounds more than the Games Workshop ones but I think a better buy uh, but it's not like the Games Workshop ones are completely terrible but just you know not as good um, on to the pin vices now or the, the Games Workshop pin vice anyway uh, this was kind of interesting so it does have a few features that I guess are intended to to be improvements um, you can see there I have also the uh, an old Games Workshop one I think I've had that for about 15 years and then I've got a Tamiya one here as well now the old Games Workshop one that you can see on the screen now and the Tamiya one they have the same mechanism for s switching over your drill bits so you see you have to unscrew the end and you pull the internal section out and there's a hole uh, with a cross cut cut into it for both sides and one will fit smaller drill bits and then if you want a larger drill bit you have to take that out and turn it around and it was the case with the old games workshop one that the drill bit is very easy to get the, uh, the 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 middle section stuck in there quite tightly and then you have to spend a bit of time wiggling it out if you need to swap over the drill bits uh, so it was a bit of a pain uh, it worked quite well although the the spinner on the end it was very loose and wobbly um, and you know it just it wasn't the highest uh, quality tool out there and I eventually got fed up of using that so that's when I bought the uh, the Tamiya one here now for all intents and purposes it's the same as the previous generation games workshop one I just showed you so all the mechanisms are the same it's just built to a much higher standard um, I, I prefer the shape of it as well like it's very easy to grip the nice rubber grip in the middle and the spinner on the end very very smooth uh, rotation on it um, just nicer overall uh, so like I really enjoy that one the Games Workshop one uh, has some uh, issues what well, I mean so first of all the spinner on the end that you put into your palm so you can rest it against that as you spin the tool around that is smoother than the previous generation one so that's an improvement uh, the bit where you hold the drill uh, the drill bits those uh, that's also interesting because uh, you don't take that out to spin it round. It's actually able to hold uh, large and small drill bits all on the same uh, hole at the end. It just opens up wider, so it's got like a, a bit more spring in it for the sort of the the petals to open up wider, if you like. Um, and then you have this little rotating bit to uh, tighten it and untighten it. So in that regard, it's actually, you know, it's it's really nice. It's a little bit better thought out. Um, the thing that really lets this down is the big black plastic case. I hate it. It has these black fins on it and they get in the way. It's just really awkward and chunky for spinning it. Um, I guess the fins are there so you can add more um, force as you spin, but you shouldn't need to do that anyway for a tiny little pin vise. Um, but yeah so it, it works but again <laughs> um, here you can see comparing the pin vise to the new knife and they both both have the uh, the same spinny thing on um, for opening and closing uh, so it, I mean it is quite an effective method uh, here you can see the knife compared to a, the scalpel that I use now the scalpel that I use is super duper cheap very easy to use uh, but it's quite thin if you have kind of uh, chunkier hands and you want something with a big grip this scalpel is probably not going to be uh, as much fun to use for you as the new blade uh, that Games Workshop have done the the blade like the the handle on this is got a really nice chunky size to it um, and you can the it's actually got like a slight covering going over the the blade uh, that you insert as well so they can see like you and it's also got um, thumb grips on it so you can put a lot of pressure on the blade this is actually it's a positive and a negative because these are just very thin tiny blades you should not be putting a lot of pressure on these if you do that um, you have a strong chance of breaking the blade and 
like quite badly hurting yourself uh, you know always use a really a new blade sharp blade minimal pressure and you know that's the way to go I do prefer having the thinner handle actually on this uh, on the uh, the scalpel that I use just because it just allows me to be a bit more uh, dexterous with how I apply it uh, I'm not like so the blade the the handle on the the new games workshop one is it's about the right size and it feels nice up towards where the blade inserts but back down to where it's got that spinny mechanism um, it gets a little bit fat for my liking and um, it makes the, it a bit heavy as well um, but you know it's all right the only thing is <laughs> it's quite expensive in comparison to the scalpel that I use so I don't really see any need for it um, for something to be like that because you know you can buy those for a few pounds and get loads of blades um, but you know it, it still works it's it's a uh, it's not terrible <laughs> Uh, so then now on to the uh, the final tool this is the, the mold line remover and this is one where it fulfills the brief I guess but it's um I don't I really don't see the point of it and at 15 pounds that could be like a, a character model or something that you could buy instead and the reason I don't see the point of it is you're going to see here uh, you can use the back of Actually, I mean, the Games Workshop, you can do the same for any uh, scalpel blade, really. But the Games Workshop knife, you could buy that, and it basically has the equivalent uh, scraping ability as the mold line remover. Um, but at the same time, it also has a sharp blade on it. Now, if you're like a little bit clumsy and you're worried about cutting yourself, then fine. The, the mold line remover is probably for you. But if you just want to save yourself buying an extra tool, um, then the uh, you know just just buy the knife and you can the thing is also if you come across a bit of extra sprue attached to the the model you can cut it off with a cutting blade and spin it around and then rub it with the back of the blade and it'll still you know give you the same effect the other thing is because the blade is a lot thinner uh, you can actually get into the crevices the mold line remover has got like a square chunky edge bit on it so you can't get into the recesses i just don't understand like how you're supposed to clean off some of the mold lines when it, you know you've got some of these really tight highly detailed models and you can't get into the detail areas to to clean the mold lines off so in that regard i just you know the, the mold line removers just seems worthless to me i i, I don't know why you would uh, want it um but like the, the handle feels nice on it i guess um <laughs> But again, it's it's extra chunky. I don't know why you need to be able to hold it so uh, sort of vigorously because you you know you're supposed to be holding these gently. These are very delicate tools uh, because that you're working on delicate models. Um, and you know, as I mentioned, fifteen pounds. No, it's it's not worth it, and I wouldn't bother with it. Um, but yeah, so those those are the new tools then. Uh, not great, not terrible. Um, I would probably look at other manufacturers as I showed on there um, but if you prefer to stick with Games Workshop uh, these will all work it's not it's not like they they don't work they don't do the job uh, they will do the job uh, not to the very best level compared to you know depending on how much money you want to spend but um, yeah they work uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> they, they seem pr uh, expensive for what they are to me. Um, but anyway, that's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.